my fellow cooperators in New Zealand. I'm particularly pleased to be joining uh, Blue Reed and Pete Moreland on the platform tonight, even from a distance, and my apologies for not being there in person. I'm delighted to be able to uh, welcome in your International Year of Cooperatives 2012. And as you know, you're joining the big global family of cooperators who are all getting together this year to try and make an impact on decision makers across the globe. This is the opportunity for us, and no more so than in New Zealand, where you have some very substantial and very important cooperative businesses. Everyone around the world has heard, heard of Fonterra, and I wish them well, uh, and keep on growing, please. So it's a good time to welcome you uh, onto the global stage, and we hope very much that you'll be working with us to try and have an impact on the way in which visibility and profile of the cooperative movement is seen by your decision makers and indeed by decision makers at a global level. Because I can tell you, globally, the cooperative movement is vast. We're a huge network of cooperative businesses across the globe, stretching into every village, town and city around the world. And we're owned by one billion people, one billion of the world's citizens who've chosen to be part of a cooperative to help them get their food, to help build their homes, to look after their health, to educate their children, to buy their goods from, to be bankers for them and insurers for them and so on. So together, those one billion cooperators are working in hundreds of thousands of cooperative enterprises across the world. And together, they employ over a hundred million people. So we're a very significant business model across the globe. But just take the largest 300. The largest 300 co-ops in the world are together worth 1.6 trillion US dollars. That's equivalent to the ninth largest economy in the world, that of Spain. And there are several, of course, New Zealand cooperatives in those top 300. So together, I think it's our time. The UN have given us this great gift in the international year. It's a, it's a recognition of the socio-economic impact cooperatives have had right across the globe and the way in which we not only run businesses in which local people have ownership but can also engage but it's also a recognition that in many parts of the world we're also about helping to develop citizenship democracy embed democracy in some countries it's part of the co-op the co-op dna so this is our chance this year with the doors open to us with Polit politicians' ears open to us to try and make sure that the world knows about our cooperative business. Our hope at the International Cooperative Alliance is that at the end of this year, we will be able to pivot from a successful international year to a decade of cooperative growth. But the key reason and ability for us to do that is for our movement across the world to work together, to stand proud together as cooperatives and say to the world, this is what we are, this is who we are, and this is how we operate. We are not business as usual. We're a people-centered business trading with a social agenda, but businesses first and foremost. So good luck for the year. I hope your research conference goes well. I know that you've, uh, you've got cooperatives in a range of different sectors, and I wish them well going forward. And I, and I hope, as I say, the conference goes well in June. Have a good year uh, and good luck.